Hello, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 23 of Aston Villa Raise the Halt. Uh, hopefully everyone's recovered from that amazing 4-4 draw against Spurs last time out. Uh, what we have today is wrap up the season against Fulham. Um, if we win and Tottenham drop points, then we could find ourselves in six and that automatic Europa League place. Um, if not, then so be it. I think it's West Ham versus Man United in the FA Cup final. So if United win that, then that'll put us into the Europa League anyway, I do believe. Um, so let's see what we're going with here today. Um, just a few minor changes. As you remember, or you may or may not remember, Neil Taylor got injured in the last game. Um, so if left back, we're going to give Dimitri Mitchell a run, um, see how he goes out there. We're giving Saar a running goal for Galini, um, just because essentially there's nothing riding on the game. Um, Mika Richards is still going to be at right back. We have some news on him. And then up top, we're going with Sean Davis and uh, Scott Hogan. It's not an easy decision to break up Wilson and Hogan. The way that Fulham is playing, I I'm expecting us to be able to push up a little bit more, um, which I need to do, actually. And because we have a higher line, we're not going to be able to to run in behind them as much, so I'm hoping that Keenan Davis will be able to link up the play for us. Okay. There's not too much riding on this. As I said, Spurs are uh, uh, hosting Swansea, who are already relegated. Um, okay. I think... I expect nothing but a win. Because the season is essentially over, I think... Speaking to them assertively, we d we still obviously want to win, if for no other reason than I hate losing, so there we go. Alright, so we can end team talk, seems to have gone relatively well. Just want to, as always, make sure that our strikers are marking fullbacks. Especially in a 4-4-2, because otherwise you will get outnumbered down the wings. Uh, a few surprises. Uh, some players play here, others will play here. That works. There's always a risk. Yes, you've left Terry out. That's because he is leaving and he's old. And here we go. And someone's... Okay, sorry about that. My uh, Black Friday shopping has just arrived. That's uh, that's how far in the past I've recorded this. Um, just a reminder, obviously, I am pre-recording through to the end of the year. So if you if you look like I'm uh, ignoring comments that you've made, it's not that at all. It's just that I have been pre-recording to make sure that there's regular uh, content going up through December. Okay, what can we do here? Conti, this is probably his last game for us. Oh, Keenan Davis is injured. Alright. I'm going to stick with my tactics and we're going to give JSL a go. Uh, calm, there's no pressure. He's been playing in the under-23s and he's done okay. He's got a couple of goals. Um... He's only 18, though, so we don't, it's not panic stations that he's not going to work out quite yet, but I was hoping for a little bit more, I've got to be honest. Tottenham's 2-0 up. So it's looking as though this is essentially a dead rubber at this point. That doesn't mean we don't want to win, of course. Can we clear that? It's a good header from Elphick. Supermark or Brighton. I did look at bringing Albrighton back, or oh, good tackle, Carlos Yell, ball winning midfielder. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, what is going on there? Jose Sa, you want, he wants to play and then he goes and does that after letting a ball bounce in off his chest in the Carabao Cup. It looks like we had it cleared. How has he scored from there? What has... Unbelievable. That's why you don't play your second choice keepers. Alright, demand more. I 
I'm wondering if Conti's off, or injured, I should say, and looking a bit off, if we should just bring James Bree on. We haven't created anything, have we? We've been very poor. Tepid first half, I think that just about sums it up. Alright, let's go aggressive. That was not good enough. Show a bit of desire. Alright, Conti's not... His fitness isn't too bad. 81%. What's potential knee injury? No, yeah, that could be serious. We'll give it five minutes. Maybe it could just be a gashed knee or something. Uh, we'll leave it like that. We won't push too far forward. Alright, come on boys, let's not finish on this sort of a note. There was bound to be a bit of a fall off after that Spurs game, I guess. Like I said at the time, it's a shame we couldn't just finish the season there. Oh, Swansea's back to 3-2. Well, this, this does change things. All right, let's press more. Let's try and play a bit wider. Sometimes I feel like we play a little bit better structured than we do anything else. All right, Conti's not playing particularly well. He's looking furious, that to me says red card waiting to happen. Alright, come on boys. Alright, Carlos, your what have you got for me? Ball in, decent ball in, it's fallen to Hogan. No, back to Virtue! Oh, crossbar! I think that would have been his first for the club, I don't think he's scored yet. Right, corner, Carlos, that's poor. That is so bad. Alright, it's back to Bree. Can we recycle? Back to Yadanak. Yadanak to Mings. Mings. You know he loves a hoof forward. Oh, and now we're going to get counted. Oh, dear. Well, it's a decent finish from Sai. You wanting to save that, but after his first effort, you never take anything for granted. Oh my god. That terrible marking, terrible finishing, that is football's the loser there. Alright, this is t this is just absolutely disgusting. Demand more. We've already made two subs. Alright, what if we try him on support, bring other players in? The annoying thing about Conti being injured is that I can't bring on Wilson and Grealish. Alright. Anything here. Anything at all. Why don't we just let them have it and leave a man open? This is f just what I was telling them to do. It looks like they're just running around doing like they're clueless, but that's exactly what I wanted them to do. Unbelievable. Alright, virtue off. <clears throat> Alright, let's try him as a Masala. Or Mazella. Masala would be with chicken, wouldn't it? Alright, come on, Grealish. Oh, if Swansea win and we don't, I'm going to be really annoyed. We're just not doing anything. Come on. 
Win that. Win that. There we go. Alright, Carlos Yelta Grealish. What do we have? Grealish. Decent ball to Hogan. Hogan's in behind. JSL will be in the middle, hopefully. Can he find him? Can he find him? He's got him, JSL! how it's supposed to be played boys look at that Grealish with a good ball out to Hogan the big man waiting for it in the middle Hogan picks him out perfectly and he couldn't miss wonderful stuff see we can do it now what's the Spurs score uh, where are they Tottenham 3-3 three, three. so if we can get a winner See, that's on structured too. We definitely play better structured than flexible. They're nervous. I wonder if this is screwing up their relegation, actually. Push forward, boys. I wonder what they needed to be safe. Is there anything? Is there a sting in our tail? Alright, Grealish out to JSL. JSL back to Grealish, we've got men forward, we've got men forward, Hogan, Hogan, on to Gilles, come on Carlos Gilles, he can't score, he never scores, he's so bad at finishing. Oh, that's probably just cost us six spot. What happened with Spurs? Three or that miss, Carlos Gilles, that's cost us six spot. Fulham safe. They needed that draw to stay up too. Look at that. If we if he'd scored that, we would have gone to Europe and they would have been relegated. Ah, oh, I mean that was I was not happy. It was not good enough. And that goal we conceded from Saar as well. That was just absolute rubbish. You wonder if Golini had been in that. Oh, we almost definitely would have won that game. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer to finish the season on. It was such nice build-up, too, and then Carlos Yell just absolutely fluffed it. But there it is. That's the end of the end of year table. United's won the league. Two points ahead of City. City lost on the last day to Southampton. Wow. Uh, Liverpool and Chelsea make up the top four. Arsenal, Spurs, and then... So we're the seventh team this year. Four points ahead of Bournemouth. That's a, it's a pretty good year Burnley, Newcastle, Swansea go down. Uh, I know Wolverhampton's come up. I'm not sure who else has. Um, yeah, so what we'll do is 26 million. Not bad. What we'll do is we'll play... I'll just uh, quickly play through to the end of year awards um, when the game wraps up the season, and then we'll come back and look at that. Okay, welcome back. Uh, and you can see here, end of season awards have been announced. Uh, Mila Yedinak, Fans Player of the Year. Of course he is. 45% of the vote. I think he was without a doubt our best player he was our top goal scorer up until the last few uh, weeks of the season when Hogan and Wilson went crazy with goals uh, you can see Mika Richards was voted second Tommy Elphick third uh, goal of the season voted by the fans was Henry Lansbury's one to strike versus Newcastle uh, wait for the end of the episode for our own uh, poll on goal of the season uh, Robert Snodgrass signing of the season I tend to disagree on that 5 million from West Ham although one of our signings really did <laughs> turn out I guess uh, young player of the year James Wilson I don't think you can have too many complaints about that uh, if we look at the stats top goal scorer was Scott Hogan with 11 we'd like to have a higher number for our top goal scorer next year higher av highest average rating yeah the next 7.23 uh, most assists Grealish and Jill with 6 um, again we really need to be pushing up that number um, best cut pass completion Mohamed Sissoko uh, most player of the match, Scott Hogan, he was wonderful at times, wasn't he? He really did save us. Uh, Sissoko picked up eight yellows, which was the most. Mings, two reds. I think he got those two reds in close to back-to-back -to -back games as well. Um, and you can see there our team of the season. Not quite sure why Mings is playing on the right wing, um, if he's a left back. But, you know, if you have to squeeze him in, I guess you have to squeeze him in. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, Bjornesson, would he be in our best team? I don't know about that one. Richards and Elphick, they were the two sort of standouts. I'd say Mings at left back instead of Taylor, and, you know, I might put a winger on the right, maybe Grealish. Uh, maybe you would play Wilson 
up front and Hogan out there. I don't know, but I feel like <laughs> a few players have been pigeonholed in there. But that's that's the team of the year. Let me know what you think. Um, now, for sort of my plans for the summer, we have quite a few players that are leaving. Richards should have accepted a contract for much less wages, so he will be hopefully staying. Andrea Conti, would love to keep him. I just, he, he won't, he wants to play for a team in the Champions League and he just won't. We've had our 7 million bid accepted by AC Milan. He just will not negotiate with us. Um, in terms of other plays here, I mean, we'll see all these faces are back. We know that Terry's retiring. We know Whelan's Giuseppe Rossi and Alan Hutton are off. Their contracts are up. Sissoko will be around next year. Bjornesson, I've said I won't sell him. I may, <laughs> I may try. Um, Delat, we know, will be around next year. Lansbury will be around next year. Albert Adoma, I, we're playing well without wingers in that new formation. I may commit to that, or do we keep him around? Again, let me know what you think. Adoma, he's 31. If we could get 6 mil, 5 mil for him, do we cash in? Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. And then, of course, we've got a few players that will be coming back on loan. Jake Doyle, hey, well, let's, can we scroll up to the top of... This. Here we go. See who else we have here. So we know Lewis Morgan's coming back. He's a winger, good player. So looking forward to getting him back. He's been playing well for Sunderland, as you can see in the championship. Uh, McCormack, he will be around, but we won't be playing him. Human Tariq, if you remember, we sent him off at loan on Rangers because he couldn't get a work permit. Been absolutely carving up the Scottish Premier League. 13 goals, 7 assists. He's been really good. So happy to get him back. Uh, no, none of these guys. Solomon, if you remember, we gave him a his debut at the end of the last season, the championship. He's doing okay. I'm not quite sure he's ready. Callum O'Hare, he's been doing well. I think he's at Rochdale. You can see there, 11 goals, 5 assists. He's someone that could come in and potentially uh, be a bench player. Jake Doyle Hayes, again in the championship. He's uh, probably going to be someone we'll keep next year as a bench option, rotation option in midfield. Um, who else have we got here? Jacob Bedo, I don't do French. If it wasn't for that passing of seven, I would consider keeping him around for a, a sort of defensive option. I'm not sure what we'll do with him. Harry Darling's another one. He's played a lot of games. Um, but I think it's at League Two, I think, Newport County were this year. He's another one that I will probably keep around as a defensive option. Ethan Patterson it hasn't quite developed as well. Again, it's that passing of four. Um, we may look to loan him out next year. Who else have we got here? Charlie Mc... 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 Uh, that's... McConaughey, I guess you'd say that. Um, we put him out on loan. He didn't really... He wasn't playing yet. He played... Only made five starts. I may look to loan him out again next year. I don't think he's quite ready to start or be, sort of be an option. Now, this is the big one. Walter Gonzalez, assuming that we get his work permit issues sorted, um, he, he will be one of the big players for our team next year. He's a really good defending, so he valued at $22.5 million. Um, this is our other defender who will look to play, Adoma Kone. Again, assuming that he can get that work permit sorted, he will be one of our uh, main defenders. Um, and now, you remember our youngsters that we got last season, our young batch uh, of youngsters? We had Matt Molino. He was... One, I think he was rated five-star potential. He's gone off on loan. He's done really well. One in two down in League One, I think he went to. And same with Dan Rathbone. Um, again, he's going to be a left winger rather than a defender. Um, he's maybe not quite ready yet, but we'll, we might keep him around and try and focus training on getting his left-back stats up, the tackling, the dribbling, the crossing. He may be one we keep for next year. Not entirely sure yet. Um, so that's what we're going to have next year. We'll, I may try and strengthen. We're going to need to look to get someone in for Yadanak, a uh, long-term replacement for him. So we'll see what we can do there. Central defense, we're going to have to kind of see what we get left with in the summer. And again, if Jose Sa goes on off, um, then we may look, we will have to bring in a backup because we don't really have anybody to be the backup for Golini, who is without a doubt our number one. Um, so that's it for the season, guys. I think we can be happy with seventh. Although, you know, if we won at the end there with Gil, we would have got sixth. Um, but overall, I think it's a very good season. Um, so what we have uh, now is we have our goal of the season. Um, just like last year, we'll have a look at 
we'll have our four nominees. You can go to my Twitter. Uh, there'll be a poll that's pinned to the top of my Twitter page, at Aussie Villain. Vote for your favourite. We'll leave it up for a day or so, and then we can... Um, I'll put in the comments of the next episode who won, uh, or I'll put in the comments of this one as well, because, as I said, I'm recording in the f- in ahead, so I'm not going to be able to sort of name who it is at the time on the next episode. Um, but that's it for this season. We'll be back uh, as scheduled next up, I think, uh, in a few days with the beginning of our second season in the Premier League. Uh, other than that, I've been Ozzy Bill, and thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. If you've enjoyed this season, this episode, give me a thumbs up. It helps other people find the channel. It does really help me out to get discovered. Um, but until uh, uh, next season... Here is the Aston Villa goal of the month. Goal of the month. Here is the Aston Villa goal of the season. Honorable mentions. Here they are, the top four goals of Aston Villa 2018-19. Which is your favourite? Vote now on Twitter.